All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are going to start with building our track. So welcome to our live stream. I'm Kellen here on Star Your Systems, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. As you can see, I just opened Chrome. Go to the forums, but this is not actually where I want to go. In fact, I'll go to Google. And just look for MX Simulator blank track. And if you go to track editing right here, uh, blank track dot zip. So you just download that business. All right. So if everyone in chat can let me know um, that you can see and hear me, that would be fantabulous. Because um, I don't know what all you're seeing for the most part tonight, but I'll try to keep track of that. Open my personal folder and drop that blank file in. All right, so now you have a blank track folder in your personal folder. And just for grins, I'm going to name this. Mm, oh, Callan, what are you doing? I'm building a track. Oh, all right, I'll move you back down there. I love you. Thanks, Penny. You were moved. All right, uh, so I will name this for now. Let's just name it tutorial track and mess that all up. If you open it up, you see there's a bunch of gibberish in here, billboards, flaggers, lighting, your map, which right now just says make a map, and you'll see what that even means in a second. Your shading PPM file, um, your statues folder, your terrain height map. Um, see right now it's just a black screen, but you'll see what that looks like later. Your texture list, your tile map, and your timing gates. And yeah, so I'm just going to leave it like this, and then I'll open it up and show you guys what that looks like <clears throat> just as a blank so dash dash editor apply okay and I'm gonna reopen this just so that I have it open all right I'll move this off to the side bada bing bada boom and we'll open sim All right, so we're in Sim, and I'm actually going to turn my graphics all the way up and come back in so that I can at least see everything pretty clearly. Exit. There we go. Forgot I need to actually go into windowed mode. You guys probably just saw a black screen, but if I go to windowed, then Sim shows up. All right, um, so we go to New Race. What did I call it? Tutorial track. So there it is right there. Hit start. Play Minecraft, yeah. Well, I, I did play Minecraft at one point. So this is what the blank track looks like. Um, it's just got a bunch of tile map on it. That's not decals or anything. See if you go to... Um, tile map edit you have these different tiles which I'm actually going to get rid of but you can see I can just pretty much draw the tile wherever I want tile map is uh, not what the track is going to end up looking like you put decals on top of it um, but I'm just showing you guys right now that that's what the blank track looks like it puts 40 random gates like in the middle of nowhere and uh, then you can just kind of ride around I'll go over here and show you guys some stuff you got like the stock trees Traction sucks. Stock trees and people over there, and then a finish line pole. And these actually have collisions. Like, see if I run into it, I'll just kind of fall over. Um, you got the default starting gate, default bale, the default truck, bolt box van. A uh, little. I think this is. Is this a race tech? No, it's just a regular tent. And then this netting fence, which you can crash into. <laughs> Penny. Uh, then you got this billboard file bike. You can ride through that. You got like a start finish house, which has like race stuff on it. And then this tower, which has collisions. And then <clears throat> there's also a grandstands over there. But I'm not going to use any of this stuff actually um, because it's all stock stuff and you can use uh, different 
billboard files. But what I am going to do is I'm going to exit out of this right now because this is obsolete. See, if you exit out before saving the track, it says track has been modified since last save. Think about it. So then you can exit out and hit save if you want. But really, I'm just exiting out. It's not important. So I'll drag this guy back over and we'll go down to tutorial track. And I'll start getting some of the stuff that I think is going to be important into game. First thing I'm going to do, since I like the traction on it, is go to my Yamaha test track and literally just steal the tile info file. I went too far. So paste that uh, tile map. Let's see what this is. So you can see everything that it is in game by opening in Notepad++. So this is basically crap that's unimportant. But if you open the tile info file, you'll see different uh, frictions, roll resist, the texture, and um, the like PNG or whatever that's with it, uh, the kind of roost that comes with it, and then so like you can change all of these ratios up. Um, but then I'll show you guys now if I load back into game. It's going to be like a long process, I promise, of going back and forth. Hello, Zach. What's up, Kevin? Uh, I am building a track for my live stream. Building a track? Since when do you build tracks? Come on, bro. I've released like four tracks. <clears throat> no way. Yeah, way. All right, so this is what it looks like in-game now, and you can see the tile map is all janky. And I have more tile maps available to me now as well. You can see there's like dirt, sand looking, blue, white, dark dirt, more white, and more white of some kind. And you can see that it lays out like that. I think this is the dirt that I want though. We have two tonight, Zach. Let's find some Fallout. Got a little bored though. <clears throat> How's Fallout so far? Kind of cool, I just don't know the hell I'm doing. You can pretty much do whatever you want, so it's kind of confusing. I was just building a town. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see if this is the traction that I want. I think it Wait, is. What stream are you on? Is it Start Your System? Yeah. Isn't it just Twitch slash Start Your Systems? Uh, yeah, uh, it's Start Your Systems TV at the end. All right, so now I've got the tile map that I want, and that's scattered all about the track. When I go into editing the track later, I'll probably put some other sort of dirt file on the side of the track, um, <clears throat> simply just so that when you go off the track, you don't have the same type of traction. That's not always important to do with tracks, but that's what I'm going to do with my track. So I'll save this, and then exit back out. And did I close my personal folder? I did. I'll show you guys elevation in just a moment. Go back down to this folder. Alright, so we've got the tile info in there now, and that is all fine and dandy, and I forgot what I was coming here to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys uh, statues, that's right. So if you open this statues file with your notepad++, you'll load it up and see there's a bunch of all this crazy stuff in here. And uh, none of this stuff I want to use, so I'll just select and delete it, and then save my statues file. That stuff will all be gone, and then we'll go to billboards. Again, there's more stuff in there. Um, none of it I want to use, so I'll just delete it all, save it, and close. Um, yeah, so I want to get a couple billboards and a couple statues in, so I'll create a new folder call it billboard and another new folder and call it statue it can't be named the same thing like if you name it statues and hit okay it says there's a file already named that you have to name it something different so you have to cancel and so I'll name it statue and then I'll go out and let's see what kind of statues I want to use um I'll just go to my Yamaha test track again. 
This folder is called models. I thought I added hay bale in here. Maybe I don't. So let me go to a different track that I know of. So again, this is all just in your personal folder. This is a bunch of my tracks that I have that are folders. If you have saft tracks like up here, you can't, well, I mean, you, you can, but people don't want you to. You can't really extract those files and use them. So I'll go to the TMFR compound, and I think he has a bale in here. Bleacher, Bobcat, GP, Bale, White. All right, so you, he has these GP bale stuff in here, and I want to use the bale, so I'll select the JM, the shape, these two PNGs in the spec map, and then Control C, so I copied it, exit out, and we'll go back to tutorial track, go to statue, and hit paste, and I don't want to see it in this, I actually want it in, yeah, that's fine. So you got all this stuff in here now. And you can just write the code in yourself, but I usually have a tough time with that. So I'm going to go back down to this and open his statues file. All right. All right, so you see all this different code in here. And you can see GP Bale white, and it's already written in correctly. It's got the correct shape map file. So I'll just select one of these lines, control C, go back up here, and go to my statues file. And then this part is pretty important right here. You can see when I put all this in here, it's got, um, well, for one, it's got a bunch of this stuff. I want to change this to a negative one so I can turn it. Um, but this TMFR FR compound is what I got it from, which is a track that Chris built. I want to search, replace, and replace all that with uh, tutorial track, which is what I've named my folder. And I'll replace all. All right. <clears throat> so it's replaced all these to tutorial track forward slash statue. So it's tutorial track and then statue. And I want to make this a lowercase because it's in a lowercase folder. <clears throat> so you have that. And then you hit save. And it will save that. And so you can close out your notepad file. And so all this stuff will combine into one hay bale pretty much in game. And I'll show you that right now. Are you sure you guys are having lag? I have had no issues on my end. Apologies if you are. Alright. Now where is this? Alright, so there's a bale up here. And if you go to your statues bit in the in-game editor, you can literally take that bale and drag it wherever you want. So I'll drag it closer to me so we can see that. So there it is out in the field. Hop the gate. And you come over and boom, there's your game or your bale in game. It's got collisions on it. So if you hit it, um, you get all messed up. And later I'll show you guys how to duplicate that. But we'll get to the track building part of this in just a moment. So what I like to do when I'm building a track, you could do several different things to create terrain. Um, none of which I tend to do usually. <laughs> Um, but again, you can do several different things like use a map creator, um, which creates your own terrain in grayscale. Um, there's also some sort of program called 3d maps, I think, um, which creates like an actual map and then saves it out as a terrain. Um, but what I like to do is basically just take the rays tool and that's wrong. I want to put it on like one strength and make it so it doesn't make like plateaus basically and just kind of draw crazy lines take the lower tool more crazy lines and you can kind of see it's adding little undulations tough to see from this angle but if you load it in game you'll see now that like 
the bale is floating, which means that the uh, height of, of the stuff has changed. The gates are also floating. So like I run them over and the gates are now floating. And if I want to get really crazy, then I could make this a little bit smaller raise tool, put it on like two and a half, and then draw some like kind of crazy lines. And then you'll see there's like a bunch more elevation. So like I'm like riding and you can see that the track, well, I mean, it's really not that noticeable right now. Here, I'll just go like crazy in one area. So draw that a couple times and now you can see like a definitive hill. So there's this big, big hill over here. And I could just ride up on it and look back out at my track, which has all this different elevation. So I'm going to kind of make like a hill right here in the middle. I mean, I like to just kind of get crazy with it and whatever train I end up with is what I end up with. Eventually I'll like smooth all this all out. So it's not like stupid basically. But, oh, as you can see, I just moved a bunch of the terrain around and it created a giant gap for me to just kind of fall down into. So now I've made a bunch of like terrain that's up and down and all around and all kinds of crazy. And you can see it's just nice big hills. You and yeah. Your channel. Hello, Josh Betts. Oh yeah, I need to give you talk power. Uh, okay, Grant, talk power. Oh, I'm just gonna say good night. Oh. Later. <laughs> Have fun in your stream. Bye, stream. Later. User disconnected from your channel. All right, so I'll just continue to kind of add raise and lower here. Mess around with it, draw lines, whatever. It all ends up looking fairly the same. Um, especially when I take the smooth tool, put it on like four, go like this, zoom out, and then you kind of just rub over it. And, uh, that smooths the hills out. So it isn't, I mean, basically crap. If you have too much undulating terrain, uh, then your game will lag more. So now we've smoothed it out a little bit. I want to keep smoothing actually. I want hills, but I don't want mountains. But I do want a really nice big hill right in the middle. All right, so that's good. Oops. So I just made a mistake. I didn't want to use the raise tool again, but if you hit the backspace, it erases your last move. Oh, I need to be out over here, but if I hit backspace, it erases my last move. I actually want to be on the smooth tool here and smooth that, smooth that side and smooth, smooth. So now we have like this kind of nice tallish hill thing that I'm sitting on top in the middle kind of tired of this really dark soil so I'm gonna get rid of the soil in a moment by adding decals before I go any further because I'm pretty tired of it I'm tired of it just pop a wheelie real quick all right so I want to stop doing this and save this uh, question in chat is, would you be taking requests to add like sections and jumps and stuff? Yes, I will. Once we get into the actual track making process, um, I will absolutely allow any and all criticism, any ideas that you guys have. Fine by me. All right. So I wish to need to figure something out here. I don't know everything about track making. I'm on all caps. Rescaling tracks in MX Simulator. All right. I got all this.
This page is really useful, this editing page. It kind of tells you how to do everything that you need to in the game. Um, but I was hoping he'd have somewhere to tell me how to make the track smaller because I don't want this big of a terrain. Darn. So I was kind of hoping Chris would be here tonight to help me on this part. But he's not. Dynamic Chris. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if I can figure it out on myself here. Alright, so we got that. See on the if I go to the Yamaha test track, which is a much smaller terrain. I'll just show you guys in the Yamaha test track a few things. First of all, if you open the terrain, you can see that there's this like kind of grayed out version of the Supercross track. Um, if you were to make it something in Photoshop, this is basically what you'd have to do is make this design in Photoshop. Um, grayscaled, use track templates and make something like this. This is my Yamaha test track that I uh, just recently released. But I did all this in editor. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. But this is just a basic terrain. Um, and I want to figure out, does it, let me see. I'm gonna open another version of my personal folder so I can kind of compare here. All right, so. Go down, we've got tutorial track. Look at the terrain height file for both of these. So in this one, it's nine to, like I said, I don't know everything. So we got 10 and 0.03. I don't understand the difference in the numbers though. So 10.3, I think that's just, okay. And then let me see. Hmm. Let me just try something here. If I move this out and copy this and paste it, does it do what I want? Does it make the track actually smaller? Nine two point just change two to a one. But thank you, folks in chat, for helping me figure this out. Because, like I said, this is a one one of the few things I don't know how to do. I was hoping Chris would be here to help. <clears throat> yes, Moto Kid twenty seven. Um, I will show you guys how to make cameras. Probably in the last episode, though, once the track's all done, because that's when timing gates will be put in and um, the track will be able to be ran. So that's probably when I'll show you guys how to do that bit. Why is my game taking so long to load? Bad shading dimensions, 1025, 1025. All right, so that clearly didn't work. I'll delete that terrain, put this back. And J Brock or J Rock B twenty one twenty one in chat says just change the two to a one. But I'm trying to do is make the overall map smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. So that way we're not using up as much terrain. Alright, this one says it's working, so let's see. That's a little too small. I didn't want to half it. So my question is, is if I change that number to like 1.7, would that work? You can see now the elevation really is noticeable uh, because the terrain has been crunched together. Um, 
Let me do. Let me try that now. Let me try to change that terrain. I don't need this anymore. Let's change it to like a one point one point five. One point five zero zero zero. Save. Exit. Sorry, I'm eating chips, but I'm hungry. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, that seems more reasonable. I'm trying to make it so that this track can have 40 gates. That might actually be too big. Hmm. Let's try 1.25 maybe. Casey Olert, are you still making tracks? Yes. Well, let's just go 1.2. So it's big enough for the 40 gates. I, I want this track to be like kind of a local series track, if you will. <clears throat> and uh, so in that, I want it to be like a minute 30 lap time. So I'll load this up again and make sure it looks good. And then I will kind of smooth things out a little bit because now the terrain's probably a little bit oversized. Um with the hills and stuff um, but that looks good looks like a good size it's all smooth on five just to smooth it out all right and let's see hey Kellen. what's up Zach on to something weird what's that I had that same back desktop background for a while. Which one? <laughs> Whatever you have right now. But it's a picture of me. What? Oh, the desktop background? Sorry. Yeah. I, thought I, I thought you were talking about the sim background. Yeah, I got a picture of you. Hey. It's a pretty cool picture. Is that a Petco? Yeah, that's Petco Park. We aren't golfing there yet. <laughs> nah. Dar was hella mad though, cause I didn't like ask him about it sooner or something like that, cause he wanted to go, I guess. How long they do it for? Um, I don't know how much longer it's going, to be honest. All right. Now this is looking pretty good. So I'll save a Rooney that. Uh, let's see. Before I get anywhere else, let me let me get a different sky in here. Sky and shading file. Um, take a look at El Norcal. Bum bum bum. Dun dun dun. Hmm. Maybe. Or what's Woodside look like? Uh, nah. Let's go ahead and go with El Norcal. I'm literally just gonna actually steal this skybox. It's not necessarily stealing it because they've released these in folders, which makes it public. Put that all in there, and then I'm going to go back to El Norcal and take their lighting file, open that up. And uh, I'll just literally take all that lighting file. So highlight it all. Control C that bitch and go to my lighting file and get rid of all that crap. Save it. And now I got a different lighting file. I'll show you what that looks like in a second, but I want to start getting decals on this because I'm tired of looking at the same ones that I have. Um I usually like to use excuse me, checkers stuff. Hmm. 
Excuse me. What kind of stuff does he have on TMFR compound? We got ruts, we got grass. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. All right. Kind of want like an off track dirt and then the grass and then like an on track dirt. It's not fulfilling what I'm looking for yet. Mm. This is a Markham track right here. Let's see what kind of decals he has. Uh, he's got this base. Looks kind of nice. Yeah, I'll just take this base here. I think these are Jay's decals, so got to be sure to credit J with that but now I need a new folder called decal and just paste those bad boys right there then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my old track here the Yamaha test track do my decals SAF file or just regular file paste that then I'll edit it Isn't this such thrilling stuff, guys? It's so thrilling. All right, so I can basically get rid of all this stuff now because it's stuff from another track. But I want to keep one line here. And we'll take a look in the decal folder. So this is called, first of all, we want all this to be tutorial track and slash decal and then this is base so that's base.png uh, let's make this say 200 I don't think that'll be too big not for it to be visible I'll erase that line save it and go back so now when we load in game we'll have a different lighting file a different skybox uh, actually, I should look at something before I get too out of hand here. Let's look at uh, lighting. <clears throat> kind of losing my voice. <laughs> so, you guys are telling me Stuart goes to Australia now, and uh, my rant video changes mine. That's pretty funny. Oops. Well, in my video, I did talk about how, uh, so I want to replace El NorCal with tutorial track, replace all six occurrences replaced, close that, and save this. Da, 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 da. Okay, now we're good. Um, anywho, uh, in my video, I was talking about how the promoter of the Australian Supercross was coming to the States, um, I assume, to get Stewart to try to come race, but I thought it was really interesting to do that for him because Stuart's going to uh, the Lily Supercross this weekend. So, you know, I figured figured Stu would probably not be interested in talking to them at the moment, but it sounds like he is. All right, so as you can see, we've got that new skybox in and shit looks way different now. Um, I'm way brighter. The track's lighting file is way different now. And so we go in and we have the skybox all around us. I want to get on top of this hill so I can clearly see everything. It's a pretty big mountain over there. Looks like it fits quite well though. Once we get the decals later, it'll look a lot better. But as you can see, we've got this big old decal up here at the top. And I want this to be all over the track. So I'm just going to one by one kind of put these in till we have this decal placed all around. I guess it's going to be kind of like a desert type field track, but that's all right. Alright, so, just 
place in these. If you want, you could go over here to spacing and literally just do like this and it'll draw them in for you. But sometimes I feel like that makes it too symmetrical. Like you see if I draw it in a line, like it makes this perfect line. Um, so I usually don't mess with that. So I'll just finish off doing this bit. Bum, bum. This is probably like the the absolute most boring part. <laughs> I'm sorry of uh, making tracks is decals. Um, once you get a decal, it looks nice and pretty, but sure as hell takes a long time. But you'll see it makes a whole ton of difference with the way the track actually looks. once I am finished. Ah, da, 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 da. I has my beers, I has my chips, I has my friends I'm live streaming to. Again, appreciate every single last one of you for coming out and watching the live stream tonight. Of course, a uh, live stream of this will be back up on our YouTube channel probably tomorrow. And uh, this will be part one of track editing. Making a track from absolute scratch. Although, obviously, the decals aren't mine, so I can't say it's like pure scratch. But see, now that I'm here, like the decal file itself has made this nice terrain... Um, that doesn't look all choppy and crap and it kind of fits in with the mountain scene a little bit better anyway because once you go this away you can kind of see it turns into like this flattish area before it was like this really dark dirt and that was the tile map but this is a, a whole lot different so now I've got this decaled kind of the way I want. I guess I could probably start just building the track. Um, so we'll go ahead and save that. And let's see, where do I want to put the starting gate? I can figure this out by riding around. Need something that's 40 gates-ish wide and flat. Looks like we got a pretty flat area right over here, kind of. Right at the edge of the track, so that would work just fine. See, this is the edge. And then once you're off the side, you're just kind of floating in no man's land. But I think maybe we could build the starting gate, like, right here. And then, like, go up this hill. Kind of go off to the right for turn one, maybe. What y'all think? Does that sound decent? I don't even know where I am, actually. So I'm on, I'm over here. Okay then. So I'll make the starting gate and what I'll do to make sure that 40 gates is plenty big enough is I'll make a new gradient over here and I'll make it the length of this starting gate. And then just hit edit. We can just do it set from terrain right now. Um, but I'm going to obviously move it. Yeah, you guys can absolutely suggest sections. Um, no holds bar on that at all. You can tell me your thoughts on whatever. And I'll do my best to respond with my comments and probably change the things the way I like to see them. So now that we've moved this gradient over here, we can go to gradient edit and you can either flatten it and then just like edit yourself or I'll set it from terrain. And uh, I want this bit to be flat here. So I'm gonna make it so that it kind of just perches itself up nice and flatly. 
So I'll make this right here. This line goes to a line. And then like literally just get rid of this dot. There we go. Now we got a nice flat looking start gate and I'll linear paint this. So now we've got a place for our cheeky little starting gate. So if I ride back over there now, you can see I've kind of carved out this little flat zone, which will house 40 starting gates. And the next bit that I'm going to want to do is make it so that it runs pretty flat into turn one. And then I can just kind of start working with the undulation. All right, some ideas I've got maybe a Dilla screw U jumping into some Millville rollers and a triple step up. Hmm, interesting. All right, I will try to make some of those work. So now that I've got that starting gate laid out, I can go over here. I think I want to make this go this way and we'll go ahead and gradient edit set from terrain so we want to get rid of that kind of drop down effect right there there we go it's a little better So now I'll draw this in. All right, so now we've got this flat area here, which uh, so it will now start and come down this way. And I think I want to make it turn up here and drop back down and go that way a little bit. Then probably turn and come back right over the hill. So what I want to do now is another new gradient. Make this plenty big enough to be a turn one. Put that probably right right about there it looks good and again so we've got this thing and I want to set it like that and we'll do radial paint and it's important to have your focus on zero so that it levels out correctly and you can see this from way up here so let's see whoops come on Do I, maybe radial add. No. Radial paint. Doesn't look like it's doing what I want it to, though. Yeah, it looks like it's basically just making a lip right here, which is not what I want it to do. Well, let's see. So the far outside gate, which is right here, would come in and this is like the very top of the corner all right I guess that's not so bad it needs to be smoothed out over there just a smidgen though so over here we need it to be smooth all right so now we got like this kind of long sweeping first corner which the inside will probably turn like right about here and we'll turn it this way come down I think I want to turn right here maybe come right back over the top of the hill so maybe some like kind of big floater table over the top of the hill down on the other side Uh, what do I use to record right now? I'm using open broadcast software. Thank you for asking. Let me kind of outline the track here a little bit. So I'm going to use a lower tool on like 25. Let's 
see. What should you go about? Let's see here. 55, is that going to be too wide? That's way too wide. All right, that should be fine. Uh, okay, so let's get this down a little smaller. All right, so we have it. All right, so right now we have it coming out of turn one and coming this way. And then it's going to turn around up this hill, go over the top of the hill. And then let's make it turn around again, come up to the top of this hill, and then drop back down. U turn, and another U turn. And then we'll come down this way this way go back over this hill and then an S turn and then it will come back alongside here swing around this way and then come right along the back side of this and then loop out onto the start straight so now I've kind of outlined the track a little bit by giving it more or less a border. So you can see that here. So I figured we come down this way. Maybe this track's a little too wide right now, but we can always tighten it up later. <coughs> so I figured to come over this hill, down back here, then turn this way, come up to the top of the hill and kind of swoop down this more or less off camber. Then we'll have a U-turn down here. And then another U-turn right here. It's not going to be that wide though. I'll be sure to fix that. Then it's going to curve and have this long back straightaway. Again, a lot of this stuff I'm going to kind of smooth out. Another turn. It's going to come back over the hill way back this way another u-turn and we'll come back over the hill again but this time not as far so you got to get on the binders and we'll have an s turn section here go right or uh, left and then right and then another sharp left come over the hill but it's going to be like a turning jump I guess and then it will swoop to the right here and you got this long back straight away and it will loop you back out onto the start line right here in which you will turn all the way around to the right and end up back at turn one so I want to smooth some of this out now All right, so turn two here. Uh, let's get a new gradient to rockin'. I'm trying to follow like right along the track edge right here. It's kind of important. Let's go a little bit beyond the edge here. And then we'll edit it, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make radial corners. So I want this to be a somewhat large rut because it's all the way on the outside. Uh, 
All right, so that looks like a pretty good rut. You can see I've messed with the gradient tools around in here to make it nice and deep, pretty tall. And we'll go to radial add, make sure that focus is all the way down. Zoom out. And let's just give it a cheeky little bunch right there. So now you see it's probably a little too deep actually. Yeah, I actually want that to be tighter. So the second corner is going to need to be a little bit not as intense. All right, so erase that with the backspace button. Stupid thing. And we can move this gradient around. I think if I edit flatten, yeah, I can change the size of it again. All right, so edit it again. Curve. Don't want it to be that deep though, so we'll fix that. All right, so now that looks pretty good. We have our focus set the way we want it. Zoom out far enough so we can just go ahead and bunce that, but not that crazy. All right. How's that seem now? So you got this big first turn. It wraps around over here. Coming into turn two. Just got to hook this big old outside rut and drive you up the hill. So for these first little couple corners here, I'm gonna use uh, <coughs> gradients for the ruts, but after that, I'm gonna stop using gradients. I'm just using it because in the first couple corners with how crazy it gets, um, I don't want people to be crashing because of that. I'm smudging, stupid me. I want smooth. Don't want people to think that there's more to the edge of the track than what I've given. So there's that. Make another gradient. Doesn't have to be in the exact same kind of location, if you will, um, but it does have to be pretty much inside of the lane of the right, you can see this line right along here. So we'll edit that. And we'll make this rut a little bit smaller just because we don't want people to hook the inside rut and destroy the people on the outside. So a little smaller of a rut. Get that radial add. And we got that now. Track hype. <laughs> I love people in chat, man. I love it. So now we got this right here, which kind of ends prematurely. So I'm actually going to fix that. Let's see if that helped at all. You can see it kind of starts late, but it gives you an angle to hook off of drive up that hill. So I like that and then I'll add one more cheeky little rut on the far inside uh, with a new gradient. I want this to be around the corner a little bit more so that we can get a little bit more hook out of it. So we'll edit that, come down here, back up, and put it around the corner a little bit. All right, let's see how that works out. So now we've got these three ruts made in the corner. 
Looks like the inside one may be a bit tall. So let's do like a test run as if we were coming off the starting line. Obviously there's going to be a little bit of rough probably coming into that second corner just because I don't want it to be like a freaking highway. So we got it to start. Pretty short start I guess. But then it U-turns through turn one, come down into turn two. Almost miss that inside rut but still get it. And then we'll come up the hill. And we'll have a nice, like, probably like a floater step up type jump just to get things kind of kicked off. So we got that bit done now. The first little section is done. Put in a new gradient. And let's just, let's build a takeoff for now. And I'll decide whether or not I want to get any kind of crazier than just a takeoff. First of all, actually, let me do myself a bit of a favor here. Gradient edit set from terrain, gradient paint. Flatten this out a little bit so we can still smooth and smooth but now let's go to the other side of this now this little bit right here is actually a flat piece of land if you will not flat but uh, it doesn't like lean left or right if that's what you want to call it so we can put the takeoff like right about here right where I had that gradient right in the middle actually so like right here go to edit and we'll make it about nine feet tall let's put the takeoff actually right there kinda just want it to be a floater jump so I'm not gonna get too crazy with the actual points in the takeoff right now that's how you build that jump. You go to linear add. I want this to be about 66 actually. And I want this to be 100. And zoom it. Yeah, that looks perfect. All right, so we'll draw that in. Now we got this takeoff, which is right literally at the top of the hill. I guess I could move that back a little bit more. Yeah, that'll float us way too far actually. Let's take a test run just for shits and giggles though so let's see take the inside come out of it and look at how long that run up is that's that's way too much yeah way too much all right so we'll race that and move this guy down the hill down about here go back to linear add and actually I want this to be at 175 Try to follow the line precisely. And I'm tumbling and a rumbling. So now we got this takeoff. It looks pretty much like a tabletop, actually. Yeah, so you got this nice long run up up the hill get a little whipper tail off yeah I think that's pretty good so we'll come over here and pretend like we're doing another start just to be sure that that's what I want so let's say we're in gate 34 over here and you're like oh shit I got a bad gate but then you get like a decent start Pat coming rumbling up the inside, so you kind of hug the left side of the track, rip around the outside yard sale, because that's the hotline, and wait for all 40 riders to go by. Then you get up by yourself and last, come into turn two, snag that bitch and inside rut, and then come up the hill, fourth gear, just a nice little layover jump, come up short, but that's all good. So I think that jump's pretty much 
perfect size for what I want it to do. Um, so the next thing I'm going to want to do here... I look weird without an A-Stars brace. What do you mean, Seabolt? Come on, guy. It's a Vigi game. Your channel. Oh, Nate. Nate guy joined in the chat. Forgot I need to give him talk power. Hi, Nate. Hey. What's up? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So now we'll start making ruts over here. You're streaming? Yeah. What? Uh, I'm building a track. Uh, well, if there's a race or something. Nah. No, Nate. He's fucking talking to himself. <laughs> so upset. All right, so now I'm going to build ruts, and as you can see, I have the lower tool, not the <coughs> gradient tool. So I'm going to make this inside rut right here. I have the strength on, let's put the strength on 0.75. And you want the focus to be pretty small, the radius to be pretty small as well. And I got this corner here now, so I'll just dig in this rut. You want to make it fairly nice and then take the raise tool and do the exact same thing. I think this rut's probably too deep actually. So now you have this kind of rut thing built, but I think it's probably too deep. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's a little bit deep. However, when I smooth it out, um, it won't be as gnarly as that. Let's see if I give it the old smooth touch. Give it the uh, 2.75 touch here. That's too much. Give it the 2. And then give each end a little bit more love since they're kind of pointy. So now you got this kind of inside rut that's not too deep. So you land off this guy, come down, you got a nice inside rut to hook. That actually looks like it flows quite well. Just give each side a little bit more love. Foot peg snagging. Yeah, that's what those ruts are doing to me. All right, I don't want it to be that crazy, though, so let's go ahead and fix, not fix, but uh, make a new one. And we'll put it on 0.5. <coughs> and this one will start a little bit sooner. Get it to wrap around. So if you haven't figured out yet, the purpose of doing a rut like this is to make it so that it's not absolutely perfectly symmetrical. Um, and that is literally just so that you can kind of form to the track a little bit better. As you can see, I'm doing here. So we'll grab that raise tool, draw around the outside of this guy. Sound like Bob Ross, don't I, Nate? Yeah, but there's no pretty trees. Didn't even say anything about Jesus yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be like happy painting? You guys do this uh, steam guard to the app. Steam guard what? Through the Steam app, or do you just use email? Uh, I did something fucked up here. That's too big. Those ruts are too big. Every time I log into Steam, that'd be annoying. Actually, Ruts are too wide. So let's do this. Do that. <coughs> Bless you. Cough, but thank you. Uh, 
All right, now let's see those ruts. Making basically two separate ruts in this corner. I don't understand why this one ends up all gammy. It's all fucked up. Let's draw it right along the edge then. Gotta be so careful. Alright, let's smooth this bitch out now. Let's see. All right, so now we got these two ruts basically. The outside one is deeper. It should hook you a little bit better. So let's go back over and come from this side. <clears throat> Whipper doodle. That one's a gigantic. Huh? Those ruts are gigantic. <laughs> Aren't they? I don't know what to do. I built the track too big, oh, I guess. I like those ones. second set were good. The second ones? At least just the other ones are dug in a little too deep. <laughs> or just that second one. Which one do you look... I I'm confused. The one before or after the jump? Uh... Like straight up from your cursor right now, or not right now. Cause yeah, that's what I'm confused about. One you were just hovering over for a little while. Those ones are too deep, you say? Yeah, it's compared to those other ones. But these ones down the hill <clears throat> you just went through, the berm height seems good. They're not dug in so deep. Yeah. Those ones are made with a uh, radial tool, or like the gradient tool. Or just smooth the inside little ledge more so it only, it's not as deep. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to make this outside row work, but I keep coming in too hot to that corner. So let's smooth the inside wall. It's hard when you don't have the decals, <clears throat> um, like the actual track decals on yet, because you just don't really know how it's like going to look when you actually race up against to it. Right. All right, that feels a little bit better. Exit rut's nice. Moving on from that corner, let's put some rollers in, heading up this hill a little bit. Make them about two feet tall. Get them rolled out a little bit. And we'll do a linear add. I want to be on 175. Because this is on 100, it's too big. So let's do 90. And this needs to be on 66.
copy gradient or that's radial linear <clears throat> Rollers are impossible to see in the editor right now. All right, there we have some rollers. So I got this corner, and then five rollers. Those are fast, fast rollers. Since this is an off camber, uh, I want the lower tool. Wow, zooming in. And I'll put this on twenty five. And if you can make the inside, you get rewarded. Otherwise, you have to take the outside or the way outside. Let's have a look at some of these ruts then. Actually, I want to fix these. All right, lower. Ugh. Stupid mouse pad moving. Now let's see those ruts. All right, that looks like they come out of the corner a little bit better. So let's give them a cheeky little smooth. And then really pay attention to the beginning and end. Now let's see these ruts. Could get to the inside. Or 
the middle. Or is it outside? And totally blow the rut. Alright, let's do a start to where we are. Sweet. Let's put a nice little table down here. User joined your channel. Hi, Jay. Oh, not even going to say hi, huh, Jay? Wow, Jay. Wow. Hi, Jay. Hi. Did come. Have you ridden the track that I sent you yet, Kellen? Uh, no, sir. I was doing a limb race, and now I'm live streaming me building a track. Uh, how many people are watching? Uh, let me see. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, yes. Sweet. And they all get to hear my voice. Yes, they do. Ooh. That's cool. What track did you send me? The new Oz SX or? Yeah, I'll send you the updated link. Don't bother downloading the other one. Oh, is uh, is it going to be out tonight? It's already out on Sim Races. I'm just waiting for the video to release it. Oh, so like people could get it, but it's not on the forums or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's see how this table looks. One seven five. I think that's about 90, and the focus 66. All right, let's have a look at that. Whoa. There you go. Cheers, Jay. You're welcome. Wow, that table's a little smaller than I thought it was. <clears throat> it's alright, I actually like it. I like it that size. <laughs> 16 hype. Uh... So that's where we are so far. Hmm. Are you making a pool, Kellen? What do you mean? <clears throat> Digging a hole for a swimming pool right there at top right. Top right? What you mean, the table? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, does it look like it's like in the ground or something? Yeah. Nah, it's the tabletop. <clears throat> it's 
It's a very high speed track right now. I'm hoping braking bump slows it down. Actually, going to use gradients again. And this time I'm using them to make a berm. Zoom in and fix this. User joined your channel. Hello, user. Buddy joined your channel. Hello. Hello, buddy. There's Chris. Hey, Jay. Hi. What's going on with your KTM these days? Um, I don't know. Well. <laughs> Well, it depends. What do you want to be going on with my KTM these days? Is, is, is this a request or...? Well, I have an idea and I just wanted to see if there would be any... I wish to freeze all of you at the moment and be mindful that you all are on stream yeah, right now. I was about to tell Chris oh, maybe thank you. Me any ideas. Can I pull <laughs> you up a channel? Sorry, I didn't know you were on stream. Go for it. Buddy left your channel. User was moved out of your channel. User was moved out of your channel. Uh. Alright, trying to build a berm here. So we've almost gone an hour and a half. I think I'm going to cut off at an hour and a half, but so far you guys have been able to see quite a bit of the track building process. I got a lot farther tonight than I thought I would, actually. So that's pretty cool. And then we'll pick up <clears> where Mikey's we left. H1Z1. Mikey? Hey, come in here and talk to us. I don't think he loves us anymore. I don't think he does either. Why doesn't Santa listen work? Get angry, Nate. Yeah, I heard those words, but I don't know what the fuck. He <laughs> said, so "Why doesn't that an this anti-aliasing work?" Okay. It's all right, Nate. I got you. Thank you. over a bit. Uh, yeah, Jay's releasing the Oz SX. To, oh, I guess it's already released, but uh, he just said he was going to release it tonight. I can check my bank account. <clears throat> Maybe I have money now. Ooh. You don't have any money. Payday. Was it a good payday? I told you, man. The government took it all, man. <laughs> all of it? 500 of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not even joking, Nate. <laughs> like, fuck. Really? <clears throat> well, Zach, if you work for the government, you're gonna have to get fucked by the government. I guess. Ah, stupid thing. <sighs> oh, let's see this. Okay. Ah, uh, face is scary. I guess Jay's track's already released on Sim Races, which is the website that it's run through. Uh, for the real three seven one asking in chat. So... I go to pay my bills, and I got this lady staring at me. Scared the shit at me. <laughs> is that for your bank? <laughs> for my electric bill. Uh, <laughs> it's scary, man. I'm telling you, man, it's Cox. Okay, linear add. Actually, I'm gonna put the focus higher. Let's see if that did what I want it to. I made that a little bit too tight, I think. Want it to be so you can come in here, double. Or go outside, double over this guy. That puts you on the inside here. So let's copy this guy. Soon ready. It's only eight thirty. Oh, it's nine thirty for you. A mountain time. Mountain time. You damn dare mountain time. Ah, uh, that needs to be smaller. This looks perfect right here, though. <clears throat> Nate, I'm sorry. What? Hey, guy. Hmm? Sorry. What? I forgot to check on those jobs again. That's right. Damn it, Zach, what's Nate paying you for? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Forgot about that. Uh, edit, set from terrain.
Damn it. Keep doing the wrong thing. This looks like it fucked it all up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. I give up on that for tonight. Get rid of that single, too. Figure something out with that next time. All right, guys. We've gone for an hour and a half. I'm getting kind of tired. So this will be it for episode one of the track editing tutorial series. Looks like we've made it through one, two, three, four, five corners. So we'll get through the rest of the track probably on the next one, and then we can start decaling and adding statues and all that other good fun stuff. So thanks for joining us tonight on the stream we'll see you guys next wednesday for the next stream and we'll get working on the track some more so we'll see you guys later